here we are guys fishing again it's november the 13th i've been fishing for a couple of weeks now i need to make a video to go on the channel so i thought i'd come down to clamfield today so fingers crossed there anyway it's the first time i've been out for a little while so see if we can't catch up. i'm only literally gonna fish a little bit of bread under these slacks i've come down to about peg 28 and i'll fish around to about 30. it's about one o'clock in the afternoon so we ain't gonna get many hours in bit of bread bread crumb and bread flake on the hook see if we can't catch a chub i am going to come down with sheddy tomorrow because i've got a bit of time tomorrow um but weather sheddy shows can't say that when you've got a list sheddy sure weather sheddy shows tomorrow actually fish is another, is another matter he's a bit scarred from old clown field um he had a bad match the other week where he blanked and he's not got the love for it at the minute but we shall see you know i still have so i'm going to give it a go um this is the peg for you if i can get down to it i'm just going to get and stand on these weeds i think we have fished this before i'm going to fish in these slack somewhere down there just with a bit of bread for a few hours gather me thoughts and uh, hopefully catch a fish and the field at the moment is quite nice to drive on certainly this top field i was quite pleasantly surprised we've had quite a bit of dry weather so it's all sort of um settled down a little bit there was a match up here the other week can't remember what it might have just been a points match um i think perky won it actually was i'm going to say a couple of chub about a six pound of but wouldn't be 100 percent um i'll say i didn't come to that i haven't been to a it's pretty difficult to get to some of these matches at the minute um what's happening at the weekend i think there's a tadpole match that's started to be fished now because the the water levels have gone down a bit that's fishing okay if you're on the right peg although i only had an ounce there the other week but hey ho when, the, when it's like it is you can only do your best um and uh what else is there oh and everyone's off to cullum the thames at cullum on sunday i think that'll be an early start I certainly won't make that um anyway that's it really i'm okay um thanks for watching the videos thanks for all those who subscribed and thank you for ali for making the bloody videos as i say this ain't a, i'm going to teach you fishing video this one because i don't do them so this is just am i going to catch some fish today am i going to drop it just in that little whirly hole there for start we start on this peg we give it we give it 20 minutes in a peg um you know because if they're gonna have this bread they usually come onto it pretty soon and if i try not to fall in while i'm speaking um as i say the weather is due to turn a little bit colder at the weekend so let's make the most of this right i shall give you a go in a minute and uh see how we get on well, literally that's my first cast and they up see we got a knock on here first cast literally put the bag down and that old rod started knocking already uh, so there's something down there interested in it that's a fact um, yeah happy days you know what it's like if you get a bite your clanny you're on a roll um, let's see if we can't have a couple of chub I ain't caught a decent chub for bloody ages it seems we'll see there's something down there anyway um, we have been making a few videos by the way we still make the videos but I don't know sometimes I don't put them out because I don't think people will be really interested in my <laughs> waffle particularly so we probably got seven or eight videos stacked up that we haven't put out um, I don't know he's still knocking up there he's still knocking the uh, something about there 
That is my first bait feeder, uh, first cast in. We'll leave it there. Yeah, so I don't always put the videos out. I know more videos you make, the better you want them to be. But, you know, the days when you used to make a video and we just used to wander down the river and make a stupid video, probably gone, to be honest with you. Try and uh, don't touch a bloody rod stone, Gibby. Now, there is something going on here. There is some fish about here. I'll tell you what, this would be great on the first cast. The last time I fished this peg, it with the river was absolutely sky high if memory serves me well. And it's probably about a year ago, to be honest. We had a couple out here. I was fishing for ages and then I think Shetty come down and said, oh, go here, go there, and I ended up going here and catching a couple. So that is a very good sign. That old rod is a knocking on the bread. Well, eventually hooked into one on this peg. He's not a monster, but for Clanny, you'll settle for him any day of the week. And that, within that little spot where we was having the, the, the nibbles, he's not a beast. He probably goes, well, I don't know, let's have a little look at him, see what he goes. I'm going to say he probably goes, cut the pound, certainly a cut the pound. Let's uh, get the old hook out of him if I can. There you are. What was he? Maybe two pound, maybe at a push. Anyway, we let him go back in, put him in nicely. Don't say you went to no fish action today, because you have, that was on the bread feeder. Um, I'll let him go in. He'll probably go and tell his mates, all of them not to bother to bite that bit of bread. And so we'll have to go to a different peg. But there you are, anyway. At least we've had one. Now, I bumped into a very special person down at Clanfield this afternoon while I was messing around under them trees. I've just put a bit of bread over there and I'll go back to it in a minute, but if you know what sort of car this is, you'll know it's a Mustang, for all those who don't know. And this is owned by the great Billy Banal. Looks a load of different reds on it, to be honest with you, but he tends to drive this one fishing a lot from what I can see and uh, it probably must be the most useless his fishing car going but he tends to drive it everywhere i see him coming down here the other day anyway he's doing a little project because he does a lot of pike fishing does billy and uh, he's doing a little project down clanfield to to cover all the pegs and just to find out where the pike are congregating so he can uh, set up his dead, dead baits at some point and fish from on dead bait so he's on a spoon i presume it is at the minute we'll go and see him on 41. he probably won't well he's had one pike already but this pike fishing's a funny old thing he's going to cover a load of pegs and uh if you don't catch well we really don't catch because i'm going back to my peg i can't follow billy around but if he catches one i'm sure he'll send me a picture of it and i'll put it on the channel <coughs> Camera's recording, Billy, by the way. So, okay, so if you want to tell anybody you hate them, Jason Bean, perhaps, or, or Henry Clark, feel free, because they always watch them. Hey, up, Henry. <laughs> there you are. Let's, let's, let's keep our eye on Billy for two couple of minutes, see if he can produce something. Well, I'll do my best. He, 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 he might send me a picture later on, maybe, if he catches one. He might snap a picture of it if he doesn't. It's a bit difficult to catch him to order. I know. I know it is. But honestly, it's a real treat for him to be down here today. I wasn't expecting to see anybody today. But as soon as I caught a glimpse of that car, I thought, hey up, I know that is. Well, I mean, look at it. How could you stay away on a day like oh, this? It's a beautiful day. A beautiful day. And like 
I was saying earlier, Jamie, every single pig I come up to, I think, oh yeah, there's going to be one in here. Yeah. Because they all look promising. Yeah. There's always a chance of a chub as well. Have you caught many on that? Yeah. They like it better in the spring, but they won't refuse it. Really? Now Billy's fishing the same spoon. I don't know nothing about this sort of fish. And what's it called, Billy? Your spoon? I'll show you. Oh, Billy's going to get number six on deck. There you are. Look at Billy's spinner. He's covering the whole water with that one spinner. Let me get me camera. So it looks a bit perchy. I don't know. Does it look a bit perchy? Yeah. Does it? Yeah, that's good for perch, uh, chub, pike, zander. Brilliant. So he's covering the whole. The whole of Clamfield to see where the pike are congregating from what I can understand and just using one lure throughout just to see where I get the hits. So there you are. I say I'm not gonna stand behind him forever because I'm obviously gonna catch a few fish before it gets dark. And uh, but he will, I'm sure, send me a picture later on. He's had one, what do you reckon? Five pound odd Billy? Did I you say that big? Uh, it was 70 centimetres, I, I think that's about... You measure them, do you, lengthwise and everything? I've got a little mat with the measure on it. Wow. Um, so it was a bit smaller than the one I had yesterday, so I'd say it was about four and a half, five. Brilliant stuff. No, nope. next peg. There you are. Well, Billy's moving on. I'm going back to my peg. It's been a pleasure to have him on the channel anyway, and an honour to have such greatness. It's an and, honour to be here. And, 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 uh, I'm, and I say, I'm sorry you're friends with Jason Bean and that lot, but never mind, Billy, that's a cross you've got to bear. Um, <laughs> send, me a, send me a picture on, on, on uh, Facebook or something, on my messenger, if you catch one, I'll and I'll that. put it next to you. The great Billy Banal, everybody, and his stupid bloody fishing car over here. Tight lines. <laughs> Tight lines, Billy. See you later, mate. As I say, that's Billy Bernal. What a great bloke. What a great bloke he is. He's a, he's a big up in the old uh, world of fishing. He's chairman of this or was chairman of that and whatever. He loves his fishing. It's uh, nice to see him down here. One more look at his car. Looks like it could do with a bit of a spray, but I think that's the way he likes it. He likes that unique, every panel different colour, don't you? Nobody's going to nick it, but there you are. It's supposed to be red, I think, <laughs> or the <laughs> thought of reddish. Yeah. Red and rust. Oh, the Alban Otter. First one I've caught on camera, near enough. If he just dived there, where's he going to pop up? We're right on the bend. We're on, I'm going to say, around the 30 area. It's an adult male. Where is he going to appear? He's, he's over near the weeds there. First one I've caught, I probably won't be able to see much of him. But if you look up under the bridge, there where my finger is, there's two or three, and they're just getting there's a pair of them up there. They're just diving under the bridge now. Right on the bend there, they're messing around. Will I catch any fish in here? Not in the open valve. But anyway, that's a really good, I don't know if I can get any zooming in any closer. Let's have a look. They're there. <laughs> They're right under that bridge. It's really shit to see them because of right facing the sun. And there's a pair of them anyway. First ones I've seen. What are they going to do? These otters. Right in the shallows. So if you're fishing on this bend over <laughs> in that corner, you shouldn't bother. There's one, two, can't see any more, just a pair of them. Let's keep the camera on them for a bit. Don't even know why I'm bother fishing this particular bit with them about, but, you know. Anyway, under the footbridge they are, a pair of them. And they're disappearing up that little stream now, wherever they're off to, so they're making their way somewhere else. Well, not, they're going to be around here, but they're making their way back up that stream. If I can get them up, if I can uh, do something with the light on that camera, then we'll be able to see them. 
<clears throat> oh well, that's the last cast of the evening. Just the one chub, uh, around the two pound mark. A couple of little nibbles, but nothing uh, more really. Lovely day for it. I'm gonna come down tomorrow and pop a gear, all my gear down tomorrow and uh, put a collar and pump some maggots in. Maybe that's the way, not sure. Probably stay away from this bend around the 30, 30 area, around the 30, 31 area. Although 32, I think, won the match. I just, the otters are about here, so I'll try and find somewhere. See where I fancy in the morning. It's going to be in this top field, I think. Maybe 15, I don't know. Not 15, a 15. On that bend. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll catch a couple of chubs tomorrow, but you never know. It's kind of here. What is it? Time is now. It's nearly dark, don't be fooled by the GoPro. It's quarter past four. And it is getting dark. Thanks everybody who's watched and all those who've subscribed. I'm sure Ali will be bringing me some videos around soon to edit and get out there. But keep watching them, keep subscribing them and we'll keep doing them. As I say, there is <laughs> plenty in the pipeline that's actually been done, but no. sometimes you don't think they're good enough to put out. But we'll see, we might do. Take care everybody, till next time.